Welcome to the first episode of Nom Nom Wars, where we make you a smarter shopper and a better eater. Today's Nom Nom Wars and food battle is on the very popular Domino's Pizza versus a more organic Whole Foods Pizza. Is there a difference? Who's going to win? Let's eat together. Now before we begin, we did get a small Domino's pizza. I really didn't think it was this small. This should be labeled kid size. This should be freaking labeled like, oh, when you buy a real pizza, you get a like small one that you can keep in your purse for free size. And Whole Foods only has one size, so that's really it. But it's not a size comparison or anything like that. It really is going to come down to the pizza. Now before we jump into the pizzas, we are going to be breaking down some of these ingredients. Now for the Whole Foods pizza, the dough, is made up of wheat flour, malted barley, flour, water, salt, olive oil, yeast, sugar. For the Domino's pizza, it contains enriched flour, wheat flour, iron, thiamine, mononitrate, niacin, riboflavin, folic acid, water, palm oil, soybean oil, contains 2% or less of the following. Sugar, salt, whey, natural butter flavor, soy, lecithin, maltodextrin, dextrose, dough conditioners, Sodium stereola, lactylate, enzyme, calcium salve, absorbic acid, calcium phosphate, alias, and we're not gonna get too specific, but the point is this is more of a natural bread with a natural bread texture. We're gonna go into more of a breakdown on that. But for Domino's, it is the case of a more garlicky flavor with whatever they add to their dough, which really makes up of most of their flavor. Now for the cheesy cheese Whole Foods pizza. The cheese is listed as pasteurized part skim milk, pasteurized milk, cheese culture, salt, enzymes, and powdered cellulose to prevent caking. That's it. For Domino's, it is pasteurized milk, cultures, salt, enzymes, modified food starch, cellulose added to prevent caking, non-fat milk, whey protein concentrate, natural flavors, sodium propionate added as a preservative. This is a lot more natural. We're gonna get to the breakdown of the taste and texture of the two pizzas. First bite into Whole Foods. That is cheesy. Automatically you get an aroma of cheese. Not much flavoring from seasoning, salt, the dough. It really lets the cheese speak. Whatever toppings you have, whatever condiments you have. Like I said, this is a simple cheese pizza. We're not even doing like, you know, specialty pizzas like barbecue chicken pizza or anything like that. That is good. Definitely cheesy. So far, so good. Domino's time. Don't disappoint me, punks. I'm gonna take a pretty big bite since it's a very small pizza. Much thicker, a lot more bread. With this pizza, I'm chewing more bread than I am cheese. With the Whole Foods pizza, I'm chewing a lot more cheese than I am bread. I have to say, you're not getting flavor from the cheese as much. This has a cheese aroma in your mouth. This, you're really tasting the seasoning they put on their dough and they kind of lay it throughout their pizza. Like I've said, a lot of fast food, like little pizza joints, they like to mask a lot of their pizzas with just garlic salt. Like if you take a look at this crust, if you take a look at my fingers, that has like seasoning and God knows what on it. Now the crust, the Domino's crust, like I said, leaves a lot of seasoning and whatever it is they use on your fingertips. And the crust doesn't really pull apart like fresh bread does. This thing just kind of like, is a little bit more cakey. <clears throat> has more of like a damp cotton texture. What am I, removing makeup? Now the Whole Foods pizza, if you look at that, that rips apart like bread would, fresh bread. Kind of like you could take this crust and use it to make yourself a sandwich or something else, but it's good. This is more along the lines of a fresh bread taste, like good kind of like bakery bread. This bread quality is nothing like Whole Foods. This turns more mushy, whereas this kind of feels a lot more natural. This gets mushy, but I can see why a lot of people would say, oh, it's tastier because the entire thing is like caked with seasoning. This is almost like leaning towards garlic bread than just a regular fresh baked Whole Foods crust. But now I can see why everyone says, oh, let's get the stuffed crust or the garlic crust 
because it's so delicious, but I would not give up good pizza for just seasonings on dough that's subpar. Now a breakdown of the texture. Here we go with Domino's. The cheese, I'm gonna pull it apart. Doesn't really come off all together. It comes off in like little bits. That's about it. And the rest of it is dough. It is thicker than the Whole Foods one. For those of you who like thick things, I guess this will do. For the Whole Foods pizza, thinner, but it does look like it has a lot more cheese. That, wow. That completely comes off. It's really thick, lot of cheese. That is like, this is the cheesiest video ever. If you're a fan of cheese, this is it. For those of you with naturally oily faces, do not watch this video. Mm -hmm. But that is really cheesy. And as you can see, the dough, a lot thinner, but really, I like my pizzas to have flavor based on the toppings, the cheese, and not really fill me up as much with the thick breading. In conclusion, if you're a big food person like me and you value texture, taste, and quality, this wins. If you don't care about quality and you're really just fine with tasting some of that garlic salt seasoning, I could see how Domino's Pizza would be perfectly fine for a lot of people. As far as the pizza goes, the toppings, the cheese, it is subpar. Like I said, the sides doesn't matter or anything like that, but I mean, look at it. You got that cheese or you got like this cheese. On the official Nom Nom scale, 10 being these pizzas are two totally, completely different pizzas. One being they're exactly the same. It is about a five. Because like I said, this is all garlic salt infused dough. This is more of, I want to taste just more natural and more fresh cheese dough and sauce.